alphabet is written, the number of times it appears, say you want to spell C, you want to type the alphabet, the alphabet C, you have to click seven, three times. You want to type E, you have to click two times. Okay, so that's for the alphabet. This key right here is to put, is to turn a, 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 a figure or a number positive or negative. So if you click it, positive, uh, a negative sign appears in front of the number you are typing. If you click it, it removes it. So the back, this BS is for deleting an alphabet or a number that you, you are typing. Also, in this page, it is used for going into what? It is used for going into the bubble or the electronic level menu. If you click it, it brings out the electronic bubble mode. So, once again, in this electronic bubble mode, you can also set your laser. You see laser at the extreme here, which is what? F4. Once you click it, you can switch the brightness, tick or light or off. Zero is off. So this, your keys are up, down, left, right. So since we are only going up, left and right, we will click. And once we click the laser of this total session begins to dim until you can't see it. So but once you put it on, you'll be able to see So you to select the particular, you have to click the tilt. The, the tilt signifies enter in the in this case of the laser. If you press escape, it will go back to the previous mode. So we have the space button. It puts a blank space when you are typing something. We have the function, it goes to the next page. Let's say, for example, you are in config. Once you press function, it goes to the next page. You press function, you go back to, if, if the next page is the previous page, is to go back to the previous page. So, escape is back. So, that's all for this configuration, the, the basic key operations. Okay, so let's understand what the display on the screen represents. So we have this, the date and the, the date and the time, the the version of the the model of the total station, the version of the software that is inside the total station, uh, and we have the job type or job name, the name of the job. We have the battery level that is displayed on on the right. This is the configuration. This is the memory. This is the measure mode. So this is the configuration, but option, the memory option, the measure option. Once you click F4 for configuration, you can do settings. You can configure the settings in the instrument, measurement condition. You see, you set up all the distance mode, the, the observation and all that, the coordinate arrangement and all that. You have the option two, instrument configuration. 
you can set up power off whether it should be going off in, after 30 minutes of no use and all that the lcd continuously so we have option three we we'll do the tilt correction and all that uh and all that settings we have the unit option five you can set the temperature unit the pressure unit the angle unit the distance unit if you click um, function to the next page you go to the next page time and date key functions and you get your settings so in the memory this is where you have the job the known data in the job that you are doing the code the storage media you are using the usb and that's all for the page so so if you click job one you'll be able to select a job you name a job delete a job download a job and all that unknown data means your coordinates that is known inside the, usually your your controls that you put inside the job if you have a control inside the job it will show you a known what to show you a known but if you don't have it will show you that there is no known no known no known data so this one has a known data inside to show that there is what maybe the contour maybe occupation point so you don't see any data now you see So we have OTS E4. So known that. So it maybe is a is a coordinate inside inside this job, a control inside the job, rather. So now when we go to we are on this job, we can decide to change the job type. to you select list it's a list list of your jobs and you select the type of job the job you want to work on maybe a new job you select a new job and then you rename it once you select it you can choose to you can choose to rename it so that you're able to recognize it later i can choose to delete so that's all about the job so when we go to the major option, we press F1. So we have the EDN, what kind of uh, this thing we are using? Reflector. We say it's reflector. There is no prison. No. There is a prison. We say yes. I will say enter. So we have other options, we have the record, distance, who set and all that. Sorry. And all that. Other options. So to view your the list of your coordinates, you press record, this record and you press view which is five there is no data because it's a new job let's say we select a job we've done before let's say this is test
So these are the basic key functions of, of the total station of the for if OTS on the total station. Thank you.